1939, Soviet engineers built two heavy tanks, each with two artillery turrets with 76 and 45 mm guns. The T-100 tank weighed 58 tons and the SMK weight was 55 tons. A company of heavy tanks participated in the attacks of the 19th Tank Battalion in the Sumahotinen area on December 17, 1939. On December 19, the 19th Tank Battalion of the 20th Tank Brigade broke through the line of Finnish fortifications. Together with the battalion, the SMK and T-100 crossed the line of fortifications, accompanied by five T-28 tanks. The details of this battle were found in a document sent by the Directorate of Plant No. 185 to the headquarters of the Northwestern Front in February 1940. The SMK was blown up in the operation. Under the Finnish artillery and machine gun fire, the T-100 driver, Pluhin, gave the order to disengage the SMK tank units and weapons, since the try to tow it out of the battle was unsuccessful due to the ice. T-100 got seven hits by 37 and 47 mm rounds and numerous bullet hits. The T-100 crew began a barrage of shells to make it possible for eight people of the SMK crew to lift the combat vehicle through the emergency hatches, and at the same time Pluhin did not stop observing the enemy's actions and fired from a revolver at the Finns approaching the tank. In this operation, the junior commander of the SMK tank crew, Comrade Magiltinko, was seriously wounded. After a failed attempt to pick him up by the T-100 through the emergency hatch in the bottom, the hatch appeared to be jammed with the machine gun cartridges. Comrade Drozhin and Kozlov left the T-100 through the small turret hatch under fire and dragged Mogilchenko inside. On December 20, 1939, an attempt to evacuate the damaged SMK was made. However, it turned out to be impossible. A company of the 167th Mechanized Infantry Battalion and the 37th Combat Engineer Company, reinforced with two anti-tank guns and one machine gun, were allocated to save the secret tank. The whole group was under the command of Captain Nikulinka, who had seven T-28 tanks to support. The whole squad passed the anti-tank gorges where it was met by artillery, mortar and machine gun fire. As a result, 43 soldiers were wounded, two had been killed, and two were unaccounted for. The mission couldn't be completed. The SMK tank stood at the Finnish position's location until the end of February 1940. A damaged tank was inspected only after breaching the defenses of the Mannerheim line. 